I have never played Fall Guys. Why would I? It came out at the same time as Among Us, and Among Us is free. But now that Fall Guys has finally realized the error of its ways, it makes for a pretty great party game. So I got together with a couple of friends and experienced Fall Guys for the first time. I booted up the game for the first time and learned that you can't name yourself if you sign up on the Switch. So I guess my name is now LivingFowl61. And considering I planned on living longer than my 60 opponents, it was perfect. The squad and I loaded up, ready to start our first solo show. We were nervous and underdressed, but we had a lot of- Hey, this is strictly a blue only team. If you do not change your skin back to the appropriate color, I will be forced to drain you of your color with the power of slow asphyxiation. Do you understand me, Raspberry Eclair? Good. Oh, great. And now we lost our fourth. Fine. I'll win this myself. So the first show began, starting with a race across spinning wheels of death, lined with horrible, inconceivable traps of utter brutality. It was a tough race, full of harrowing jumps, but ultimately, I was able to make it to the finish line in third place. I watched as my companions and competitors made their way through the deadly course. They all seemed to be moving at five frames per second, which probably had everything to do with how nervous they were, and nothing to do with the fact that I was playing an online game on the Nintendo Switch. Looking at the competitors, it was a bloodbath. Only 26 of the original 60 contestants survived. Many fell to their doom. These two gentlemen were so scared of the course that they were paralyzed at the starting line. But my companions and I were not deterred. We would prevail. The next round was a face-off against two solid batons of pain rotating around a colorful wheel. This would require focus, dexterity, and an iron will. At first, I was hesitant, running away from the threat. But I gathered my courage, for the best strategy was to face my foe and run at him straight on. No hesitation, only instinct. Competitors started to fly off the podium one by one, but our team held strong until the final seconds. Fate had come for us. The batons lined up perfectly, and poor D Cybert 121 had nowhere to hide from their punishing blow. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But there was no time to cry. Both Raspberry Claire and I had to fight on, carrying the legacy of our fallen teammate to the finish line. The next round wasn't even attempting to hide its deadly nature. We stood on a precarious seesaw in line with three humongous cannons. Only by running, dodging, and sacrificing our fellow competitors did we scrape by. And then we were at the finals. And what should greet us but the ultimate final round known throughout the land? Hexagon. This was a battle of skill, intelligence, and coordination. And I only had one of those. But still, I persisted, never stopping, never slowing in my mad dash to stay alive. Of the ten of us left, Raspberry Eclair was the third to die. But I had no time to mourn. Five were gone, then six, then seven. I was truly outliving them all. But as I made my next jump to safety, tragedy struck. I slipped and fell, swallowed by the Pepto-Bismol below. So I lost to some guy named Kai FTW. Curse you, Kai FTW. So we tried again, but this time we had the power of our fourth return to us. The prodigal child Inkaboo had returned. We faced spiked rollers and swinging axes. We stumbled and fumbled through the circuit of speed. We stared down the batons of pain. Though they did end up taking d cybered 121 again. Rest in peace. The swiveler then punched me in the face several times, till Inkaboo and I too were swimming in the pink goo below. So it was all up to Raspberry E. Claire, and... She tried her best. And so we lost to some guy named Vision Runner 18. Curse you, Vision Runner 18. And so we tried again. And actually did really well this time, to the point where three of us got to the finals. But then we faced a new problem. While in our hearts we were a team, to the game we were not. 
It got down to the final three, and only by two of us dying could the other be crowned king. And so I died. Thus started the reign of King Inkaboo of the Blue Bean Kingdom. May his reign be peaceful and prosperous for all under his rule. All hail King Inkaboo! All hail King Inkaboo! Of course, we weren't really happy with only one of us winning, so we decided to move on to squad shows. With our level of coordination and teamwork, we thought it was inevitable that we would take the crown. We were wrong. We were very wrong. So we took a break, had a change in roster, and tried again. And again. And again did a solo run where I was this close to winning, and then tried again. Until finally, we did a squad celebration. We stole the appendages of other living creatures and hoarded them for ourselves. We grabbed life's giant blue balls and turned them yellow. And we unrelentingly chased down innocent souls to spread a virus in a twisted game of tag. We were merciless in our conquest. And finally, after over two hours of playing Fall Guys, we were kings. And we all agreed to never play Fall Guys again. Hi there, it's the end of the video, my friend. Hit the bell if it was okay, I'm sure I'll make good content someday. I'll play some games or do some drawing Pokemon and fights with darling video essays and reviews. I couldn't do it without you, so thanks. Like and subscribe.